Kelly, let me ask you something. Have you ever gone out on a first date and then when you see the person standing across from you, you're like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. Well, no, because I'm pretty sure I either had met them already in person or saw a picture. So I know that like with all these dating apps, this has become more common where people are not necessarily truthful in their maybe profile picture. And then when you meet Uh them in real life, you're like, oh, okay. So uh, I want to dive into the DMs here because we got a a quick question on Facebook from a listener who says, hey, Ben and Kelly, I have a quick question. (laughs) (laughs) She says, how much do you have to tell your friend about the person you set them up with? Are little white lies okay? I I need to... I feel like you have to be completely honest, right? What are we, what are we leaving out? Do we All right, know so what we're leaving out? Here's, here's what she says. She says, my, my best friend is fantastic and has been single for about six months and she's ready to get back out there. Okay. Anyway, there's a great guy I work with. And so I set them up and they're going out on a first date this weekend. Here's the thing. She's about 5'5". Five, five, and I told her that he's... About 5'8", which she was okay with, but I could tell that she was just barely okay with. LOL. I may have lied just a little, and this is my question. He's a great guy. Not a jerk, attractive, funny, but I may have embellished his height a little. Oh, gosh. Like, how much? He's more like 5'4". Oh, that is not 5'8". Oh, okay. So should I tell her before they go out or let her find out on the date? I'm worried she would miss out on a great guy if I were to tell her he's not very tall. But now Help. her best friends lied to her. And that's going to become evident immediately. Maybe she's just bad at numbers. Okay. <laughs> I, I feel like she should have just been honest and like, hey, he's an amazing guy. Like you you need to step out of your your shell of what you think that you need to have as far as specs go on paper of a guy because he fits all your other boxes that you need to have checked off. But like if, a, if, if one of your friends is saying that to you, are you not immediately going, where's the butt? Where's the butt? Where's the I, butt? Because if they're building him up so much going, listen, he's so great. He's Uh going to check every box for Uh you. And you're like, "Uh uh-huh, what else? What else? Back in the day, I would have been like, okay. Like, I I really (laughs) would, even if I knew there was something about him that typically I'm not attracted to, I'd still go. So are you, So I mean, she's already like, you know, said... I think her tragic flaw was saying he was 5'8". I think she Absolutely. should Absolutely. She just put a left. number on there. Yeah, so exactly. now there's an expectation of at least three inches taller than her. Four. Four. Four inches. Was she, uh, yeah. Okay. Listen, four inches can be a lot. Uh-huh. Um, or it can be not that much. It okay. just depends. I don't know. Well, she's 5'5", the... five five, she says, and the guy's 5'4". Yeah, so... So... He's going to be a little short. But again, this should not matter. This should not matter at all. I have many friends where the the height, there's a height difference mm-hmm. and the, the man is shorter, whatever. Mm-hmm. If, if they are a spectacular person, I'm sure if they're attractive. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was a sucker for a good face. That's really right. all was okay. my requirement. Sure. And that's what roped me in. I love my husband's dimples. I'm like, he cute. Did you, you say know. nipples? No, oh, dimples. Oh, gosh. Dimples. I thought, I thought you said No, I didn't nipples. see nipples. I just love my husband's later. nipples. No, it was dimples. That's what roped me in. <laughs> <laughs> he flashed me on that first date, and I was like, that's the guy I'm going to marry. <laughs> I did not see the nipples for a while. Okay. okay. Oh, God. So, so, regardless, so, she her fatal flaw was she put a number on. On his height, and now her best friend's going to know she flat out lied. Okay, so the question coming back to it, does she say that, or does she just let it organically reveal itself? I don't know, because now I'm, there's like a part of me that just be like, okay, so when her best friend comes back after the date, and it's just like, um, he's a lot shorter than you said, and I'd be like, 
Oh, really? Oh, what number did I, how, how tall did I say it was? And just like forget, pl- pretend like you play forgot. Dumb. Play dumb. What so, you said. All right, so Kelly's saying play dumb. <laughs> uh, okay, so me, I'm, I'm, I, I like to say I'm almost 5'10. Um, I'm not overly tall. And uh-huh. so I know that that has been, I mean, height, I think, is a thing for guys where. Yeah, but has anybody refused to date you because of it? I don't think so. Okay. Of course, I don't know. All right. You know, but I would think that from a guy's perspective, I would want the woman to know that information before she came on the date because if there's a look or a just a glance of like, oh, right, then that you just ruins walk it. Up and yes, each other. Yeah. yeah, then that yeah. that just like that does she, it, that brings the air out of the room, right? Just because kind of what if she the whole situation doesn't have a good poker face and yeah. is just like. <gasps> Yeah, so, okay, so maybe, all right, maybe our listener just kind of says, listen, maybe don't wear wear heels. <laughs> don't wear heels. <laughs> all right, wear, wear flats. I'm going to tell my know. friend from work to wear um, some, you know, heels. Some, oh, some, she, she some put a number heels. on his height. She lied about yeah, that yeah, part. Yeah, you, you, need to, you need to get over that. She's already said that. So I that's, well, that's so, out of the bag. So then does she come, come back before the date and just be like, hey, listen, sorry, but... I might have fudged his height a little bit. I think bit. she has to, yes. Uh, I feel, yeah, okay. I think and, she has and to. And just say what she said to us. Like, listen, I'm, I was so afraid you would just say no and not even consider it or hear the rest of what I was going to say about him if you knew that he wasn't as tall as you typically want. Okay. So this is what we're saying. Before you drop this bomb on your friend that's about to go on out, out on a first date this weekend with this uh, guy from work who's mm-hmm. short, Make her pinky swear. Say, listen, what I'm about to tell you doesn't is not going to affect your date on Saturday. You're pinky still swear it you're out. still going to go out with him. Yes. Okay. And and then make him make her think. Make your friend think that like he's committed a felony or something. Oh. And okay. then say and then say no. It's just it's just he's not as tall as I may have told you before. And then she'll okay. be like, oh, okay, all right, all right. Well, that's okay. That's so okay. make it make her think it's going to be something really, really bad. Yes. But then like flip it, like oh, it's not that bad. Yeah. Oh, I can I can deal with that. Like and he's then got say, listen, I lied with the best of intentions. Right. Like make her think he's got like seven illegitimate kids from <laughs> five other women, and no. he maybe has committed a felony. I don't think we. I don't know how we indicate that. <laughs> and then flip it. No. All right. That didn't well. Happen. Well. Whatever happens, um, I think you need to probably clue your friend in before the date. Yes, and you're then, right. Just because you don't want that sort of like surprise mm-hmm. situation when she walks up to see him for the first time. All right. Well, hey, good luck to your friend. And, and I need to know how how this turns out. I was going to say we need to follow. 